You know, UVA had always been on uh, near the top of my list because of their combination of great standards, both in school and um, you know in athletics. So that was something that always um, stood out to me and uh, really drew my interest there. And then just through you know meeting with the coaches and talking to them and um, their pro style offense, which is something that I was looking for. Um, yeah, just kind of everything, every mark lined up um, right where it should, and it really, like I said earlier, it felt like home, and um, that was a place where I felt comfortable and felt like I'd be able to achieve all my goals and um, and grow as a person, and obviously on the football field. So um, it just felt like it was the best combination of everything I could have wanted. It's amazing how fast it goes, but uh, you know we're excited for him. It's a great opportunity, Virginia University, obviously a great academic school, and. Uh, you know, he'll end up playing probably 40-something games uh, at the high school level, starting at the quarterback uh, in four years. So that's pretty impressive. You made your verbal to go to Virginia. You'll make it official later on in the year. How big is that that that's off your plate? Does colleges pick? You're ready to go. You, they know you're coming. You're going. And you can just concentrate on football. Yeah, it was definitely a goal of mine to get it done before senior year. I kind of wanted to get that over with, that thinking over with, and then be able to really enjoy senior year and just kind of relax with that aspect of it and just focus on you know playing with my team and getting us to the state championship game so um you know it was it was uh i was really happy to be able to commit to uva and you know that that really felt like home to me and uh, i'll be excited to be there for the next four years but i'm really happy to be able to focus on on this year as a, as my senior year and just go out and have fun just talk about the process. I mean, it could be heady stuff. You had guys before you, you watched Noah go through it, Noah Brown and Ryan Izzo and, and Noah Merritt. Just talk about that process because, like I said, co college has been after you since your freshman year. Yeah, and watching them go through the process was definitely um, good for me. I was able to kind of pick up things from them. And, you know, when I was going through my process, I was able to reach out to Noah and, and the other guys and say, like, you know, hey, what's going on with this? You know, what's, what's happening here with this? Um, what do you think about this? So, you know, they were, they, I was really able to use them as guidance um, throughout the process. Um, so it was good. It was definitely good to be able to see them go through it and have them as, uh, you know, people I can communicate with as I, as I went through it. Now, for a few years, you got to watch Noah Merritt run around in practice. Now he might be chasing you down <laughs> as a member of the Boston College of the defensive line. Uh, just about getting a chance, you'll see him. And uh, Ryan's down, Ryan Izzo's down in Florida State. That's pretty cool stuff. Definitely. We've talked about that. You know, like, hey, I'll see you out at the yard line in a couple of these games or whatever. So, you know, that was cool to kind of be able to go back and uh, – now, now be playing against some of the guys that I played with for so long, and uh, it'll just be a lot of fun to be able to go out and compete against some of the best teams in the country. How fast has this gone? It just seems like yesterday you came in as a, a highly touted freshman, and, and you delivered the goods. Yeah, you know, everyone always says it goes fast, it goes fast, enjoy it while you can, and you always feel like, oh, you know, four years is a long time, so I'm, I'm sure it won't go as fast as you say, but it really has, and it's been a lot of fun and a lot of great experiences, um, and I just, you know, I want to trade it for the world, and it's been it's been great. Just talk about the process over the last four years of getting better as a player, mentally and physically. Just talk about that. Yeah, you know, throughout throughout the anyone's career, or, you know, journey playing football, there's always ups and downs, and um, you know, from the downs, you take away great learning experiences, and you're able to improve, and that's that's something that I really enjoy is being able to see how, how I'm improving and see how I'm growing as a player and uh, as a leader and, and as a quarterback. Um, so, you know, it was really just, it's been great learning experiences throughout my whole career. The coaches here have done a great job. Um, it's been, you know, have, have, I've had great teammates all four years. Um, so it's just been, it's been one great thing after another, whether it's been, you know, mistakes or, or you know, great great events both have been great learning experiences i think the most impressive thing for me is that he's really stayed the same person he's been obviously he's matured but i mean you know he's still a level-headed guy still works really hard he works great in the weight room and uh you know with all the accolades he got early he just kept his head about himself and uh, he's just a real level-headed kid and what's it say about the program that how many division one guys have come out the last four years yeah, it says a lot about the program. Uh, Coach Carlson has done a great job, and the rest of the coaches here too. Um, yeah, they're really they're really building into something you know special here, and um, they're just doing a great job with coaching and uh, you know building people with care, good character. You know, focusing on academics as well, and, and you know obviously winning games out on the football field. So it's just it says a lot about the program. We're excited about that opportunity. We got it going now. You know, and. Uh, 
Dalen Wade, a junior, coming up junior. He's had a whole bunch of offers already, and uh, you know, hopefully housing and a couple other guys. So uh, they're on the bubble. So you know, the college is definitely over here. You know, it's a great academic school, and the and the kids really get prepared for college. That's a big plus for us. And then obviously they can play football. And as far as the team is concerned, five and five last year for Pope John. That's not what you guys normally like to do. Uh, but you got that great schedule. You open up with uh, DePaul, then Paramus Catholic again. What do you guys hope to do this year? Obviously, we hope to improve on, on last year. Um, we had a lot of guys on the team who didn't have varsity experience um, and whatnot. So we're just really focused on keeping our head down now and uh, working hard and, and trying to get to our maximum potential by the time the season comes around. And so that way we'll be ready for, for the first two games and the rest of the season. Jack and obviously uh, win, win the end, Jack. You know, that's number one. You know, obviously. Uh, it's good competition there and then you know you're playing DePaul and Primus Catholic which obviously is teams at the state and national level so I mean it's great competition you know our kids are working hard and uh, you know we're, we're moving past it they've done a great job in the weight room and uh, we're excited about the opportunity.